Welcome, base friends. We're going to learn Come Ye Children of the Lord, hymn number 58 in the LDS hymn book. I'm Rachel, you're singing with me. This is Sing with Rachel. Let's do it. Here's how it's gonna go down. I'm going to sing all three verses with you, just plunking out your part on the piano. You and I sing together all three verses. By that time, you should have a pretty good handle on the song, and then we'll go to something a little more difficult, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, here is your note. Come, ye children of the Lord, let us sing with one accord. Let us raise a joyful strain. jumps in there so you may need to practice a few times totally fine no one will ever know how many times you went through that so just keep going practice 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 it'll be awesome you can also slow this video down in the settings if you feel like it's too fast but this is kind of a fast song it's really exciting so are you ready for the next section now this is where the real learning begins what we're going to do is I'm going to play um, the instrumental part and it'll give you an introduction and we'll come in together. On the first verse, you and I will sing the bass part together. Then the second verse, I'm going to stop singing. You will sing on your own. And this is where you will find where your weak spots are. If it was really a bomb and you had a couple spots where you're like, I was totally lost, just go back and practice the first verse a couple of times again and then try the second verse again. When you get comfortable with the second verse, then we're going on to the third verse. I'm going to come in on the soprano part and we're going to sing a duet together. Don't be scared. No one will know if you totally mess up. And if you just practice, do it over and over again, you will get it. Now, if you only feel comfortable with first one and then two and three get really, really shaky, just keep practicing. But if you never quite get it and feel really good about it, that's totally fine. Like if you can sing verse one with me, then you can sing in a group, in a choir, with other basses with you. You'll be fine. If you can move on to verse 2 and 3, then you'll be the leader in the bass section, which is always needed. We always need people who know what they're doing in the bass section. So I challenge you to move on to that and really stretch for that.
Okay, how did that go? It's a process. Keep practicing. Next up is our acapella challenge. This is where you challenge yourself on purpose. You put yourself in a very uncomfortable situation on purpose so that when you go back and you sing this in a choir, then you're like, oh yeah, this is easy because you've pushed yourself in other ways. So what we're gonna do, this is the acapella challenge. Are you ready? First verse, I'm going to sing the soprano part, but I'm going to plunk out the bass part on the piano. So you can learn to follow the bass part and get comfortable with me singing just you and me. Then the second verse, I let go of the piano and we sing a duet. Are you ready? You can do this. Here's your note. Come, ye children of the Lord, let us sing with one accord. Let us raise a joyful strain to our Lord who soon will reign. On this earth all it shall be, cleansed from all iniquity. Keep practicing. You can totally do this. Good luck.